everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today I am reviewing foundation brushes. I'm going to use each foundation brush that I have in my collection and show you how it applies foundation and give you a few notes about how I like it and if I think you might like it stuff like that. I actually never used foundation brushes before starting YouTube. I really just used my fingers. And then once I started YouTube, I discovered the Beauty Blender, which I still use every day. And if I absolutely had to go without a foundation brush, I could get by with just my Beauty Blender. But I have some foundation brushes that I like and some I'm not as crazy about. And I wanted to share them with you guys in case you guys are looking for a new foundation brush. So if you want to see which foundation brushes in my collection worked and which ones not so much then just keep watching okay so i just primed my face and the first brush i'm going to go with is going to be my tried and true real techniques buffing brush which if you watched any of my other like my foundation review videos and stuff it's the my go-to brush well i'm going to use my Too faced born this way foundation but i am like desperate to get every last drop out of this this is actually kind of the first foundation brush that I really got into. I was all about using my hands for a long time and I didn't really appreciate a brush. I still, for my own comfort level, always feel like I need to smooth out my skin with a beauty blender. That's just my own comfort level, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get away with just using this. Yeah, and I mean, I, I really like the way it works. It's affordable. I like it. Okay, so I've already primed my face and I'm going to dot on because I'm so low on this. Eventually, I'm gonna have to give up and just open my new one, but I'm trying to get every last bit. Okay, so today's brush is going to be the Sephora Pro Small Stippling Brush. Actually, I was in Sephora. Actually, a salesperson was recommending this brush to somebody else, saying how wonderful it was. So I was like, maybe I should try it out for myself. Okay. There's already a bristle that has fallen out. Which, I have to say, I don't really notice with the Real Techniques that they get fallout. Some of my higher-end brushes do. I already am not crazy about how small this is, and it seems like it feels like it's taking forever. I mean, I do think it blended in my foundation quite nicely. Now the bristle. That bugs me. The bristles falling out bug me. I know it's probably inevitable, but it just bugs me. Well, this is feeling like it's taking too long for me. I'm gonna try and see how I like the stippling brush for around my eyes. So I'm gonna put on my YSL Touche Clad Neutralizer on my dark circles and try to blend that out. I don't know if it's the most natural finish, but I know I'm gonna try it with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This I'm not liking at all. I don't know, I mean, I guess it is blending it out relatively well but it's definitely not giving my skin like a natural finish like it definitely looks like i still have makeup on if you can tell you probably can't tell it's close. i guess on camera actually it won't look all that bad but in person it's still like it's not a natural finish i don't know with the bristles falling out and it taking so long and not i don't know i'm not not loving this at all okay so i just primed my face so I'm gonna use the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. And I used the buffing brush already, and for some reason, the buffing brush was the first makeup brush that I, like foundation brush that I fell in love with. And then I used this one day when I think I washed my buffing brush and I needed to put my makeup on, it wasn't dry yet, and I was like, all right, whatever, I'm just gonna grab this and see how I like it. And I'm not gonna say I like it better yet at this point. You'll notice a theme in these videos that I tend to like my Real Techniques brushes. Okay, I don't know if I necessarily like it better. I mean, normally with both this and the buffing brush, I would smooth it out with a beauty blender, which I'm trying not to do, but it's hard. Like, I'm kind of addicted to my beauty blender. So I'm trying, but I'm trying to get an accurate view of what it would look like without the beauty blender. I think it's quite as soft as my buffing brush. 
but I do really like this. Nice and even. I'm really happy with the way this brush works. And you know, Real Techniques brushes are so affordable that I'm just like so thrilled that I love them because I don't really want to start spending money on really fancy expensive brushes, so. Okay, so today's brush is the Real Techniques 101 bold metals foundation brush now here's the thing with the bold metals collection this came out around the time i think i first started youtube around that time at least the bold metals collection as a whole was the first i think maybe only brush collection that i saw and was like i have to have that because they're so gorgeous i just was like i have to have this the metal handle it, it's just it it's weighted it feels really good quality the thing is i've never used this brush for foundation i don't think like i just i don't really know what to do with it it's just so different <laughs> i don't know i've actually used this for highlighter like i it just it's not my favorite thing to use for highlighter but i needed a clean brush one day and i didn't have one so i just dipped it in the highlighter and just do 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 and it worked relatively well so I mean I don't regret buying it and I just kind of got it because I got the whole collection now since I had no idea what I was doing with this brush because it's so oddly shaped it's almost like a, like a triangle with a point I don't know I went to the Real Techniques YouTube channel and watched a tutorial on how to use this I normally as you probably have seen I normally like dot foundation all over my face and then blend it in but i want to go with the way the tutorial did it just to kind of get an accurate view of this so i actually put some foundation on the back of my hand and i'm doing what they did in the tutorial and dipping the brush on the sort of flat side and i'm starting in the middle of my face and blending out the bristles are obviously synthetic but they are soft it does kind of go over the nose nicely because of the way it's shaped. It's almost like conforms to your nose. I mean, it goes on a little streaky. It does seem to blend out okay. But I have to do a lot of blending and I almost feel like I'm just pushing the foundation around. You know, it's not really great, I think, for wide areas of the face. Like, it's definitely not working for my neck because it's just too too narrow but you know I have to say it starts out a little streaky but then it really does kind of blend I think it it forms really nicely to the nose and it gets in the crevices in the nose really nicely well but I don't know if it's just as smooth and I guess you can take the tip and like buff in areas that you feel like need a little bit more blending that's what it said in the video i mean i guess it's not bad i just am not loving it i don't know like i thought it was getting over the nose really nicely but i'm getting kind of like cakey in the creases of the nut i don't know i mean looks wise it's definitely the prettiest foundation brush i have but i don't know i'm actually gonna try i'm gonna use some like neutralizer and concealer i'm actually gonna mix the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade honey to kind of just lightly tone down my under eye circles. I want to see how it got into my eye crevasses. Still feels kind of streaky. I'm not really buying that the point is really buffing anything out. I mean, I love the Bold Metals collection. Straight up love it. I think this foundation brush is probably my least favorite brush in the collection. If you have it and you haven't figured out a use for it, yeah, the concealer's not going to go on smoothly at all. And you haven't really found a use for it. I would try just using it to, yeah, this is just, it's going to take me forever to buff in. And it's just getting all streaky. Yeah, I'm going to have to go over this with the beauty blender or else it's going to be a big old mess. So I'm going to go work on my beauty blender. But again, I've kind of used this to like just dip in some highlighter and just hit the dry, obviously, and just hit the tops of my cheeks with it again it's not the best brush to do that with but I, I don't know as a foundation brush I'm just not feeling it okay so I've already primed my face and today I'm actually gonna try I think two foundation brushes because one they're similar and one I kind of know isn't gonna work on the whole face I think it's going to work more maybe as concealer so I'm gonna try again putting my foundation on the back of my hand which I'm getting I'm still getting low, but I'm gonna get every last ounce out of this Born This Way foundation that I possibly can. So today's brush, 
or brushes is going to be the Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush. I don't remember if I got this individually. I got some Real Techniques in a kit, so I don't remember which one was individual and which one was in a kit. But this is the Essential Foundation Brush. And then I also have the Pointed Foundation Brush, which is tiny. Now, I'm pretty certain that this is not going to work all over my entire face. So I'm going to try the Essential Foundation Brush on my face, and then I think I'm going to try the Pointed Foundation Brush around my eyes just to try it, because I'm I'm pretty certain I'm not gonna like it for my whole face. And I'm gonna kinda do it similar to the way I did yesterday. I don't know if it's because I got the practice from yesterday or because maybe this brush is better than yesterday. I mean, it doesn't conform to the nose quite as much, but I'm a little bit more comfortable applying my makeup this way, which could just be because I did it yesterday. It's still really streaky, and I don't really know if I have the patience to blend it out completely. I actually just ordered the Artiste foundation brush. I fought it for a long time and was like, you know what, I'm finally gonna get it. I'm not gonna have it in time to actually do it as part of this, but when I get it, I will actually probably do a review just on that. So be sure you subscribe. Still kind of streaky, I gotta admit. It, it does blend in nicely, but I'm feeling like it's a lot more work. And you know, yeah, I can get in the this is around my nose, but I don't know. I, I like my buffing brush. I'm gonna try my Tarte Under Eye Corrector with the pointed foundation brush. It does kind of blend nicely. Kind of a nice shape, like the inner corners. But this doesn't work too bad under the eyes, I have to say. I will make a note of that. Not loving it blending in concealer. Not terrible. I liked it better for the under eye corrector, I think, um, because it's that little tiny area. But when it comes to actually like a wide surface area, like under the eye and stuff, I don't like it as much. I'll probably go in with a beauty blender, but I do like this for applying my neutralizer on my dark circles. I really like the way that came out. So I'll make a note of that. This isn't actually might be a little bit better for blending out concealer. It's a little bit wider area, maybe. Overall, for all this brush isn't terrible, but it's definitely not gonna be a regular foundation brush for me. This I really like for neutralizer in the inner corners. Okay, so face is primed, and today's foundation brush is the NYX liquid foundation brush and i am of course using my liquid foundation my born this way i've actually never used this before i've had it for a while but i just never used it it's very very soft and it feels very synthetic i'm just not getting won over by brushes in this shape if you're a fan of these sort of like flat foundation brushes and you know you find that they really work well then let me know i just i feel like i need like a sponge or like a buffing brush type of thing or something i don't know i guess it is blending in it starts out so streaky and then it does blend in eventually i don't know i'm just not I'm just not sold on brushes this shape. I just feel like I have to like so meticulously go over everything and make sure there aren't streaks there. But you know what? I'm going to give this one a try with my NYX under eye corrector. It, I think it's a little bit big for that. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. Just try it with concealer because why not? It's not terrible at blending in concealer. It's just not my favorite. But if you're into flat brushes, I gotta say, good affordable option it's just not my favorite option hello <laughs> i have one more brush that actually just came in today i wasn't originally going to include this in the video but it just came in today so i was like you know what let me just film this before i get the video edited and i am very excited about it like literally i just opened the box and washed my face put my primer on and dotted foundation on my face this is the clinique buffing brush it's not available too many places i had to like order it from ulta but i actually heard about this from viviana does makeups channel and she was raving about it she said it was super soft and I figured, you know, I like soft brushes and I also love my buffing brush from Real Techniques. So I thought, you know what? And I love Clinique. So I figured I can everything here. Maybe I will like this and ooh, it is soft. It's very soft. So we'll see how this works. 
it feels really nice. It is super soft on the skin. I like the way it blends in. It's I like that the Real Techniques buffing brush is soft. This one is definitely softer. I feel like I have a little bit more control with the Real Techniques, but I really like the way this feels on the skin. I definitely think I will be trying this more often. And that was my foundation brush collection. I believe I probably mentioned this at some point, but I ordered an Artiste foundation brush and hopefully that will be in soon and I will do a separate review on that when I receive it it's back ordered hopefully they won't cancel my order but we'll see so if you have a favorite foundation brush one that I mentioned one that I didn't mention I would love to hear from you please leave it in the comment section below if you found this video helpful please give it a big thumbs up and be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos my social media links will all be linked below if you want to stay in touch with me thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is very laid back. I was actually going to do a full filming setup and all kinds of fancy schmancy stuff, but I was like, you know what? I just kind of want to chill out with you guys because I'm going to try a makeup technique that I've never really tried before. I've kind of played with it a little bit, but I've never done it full out before. And I just kind of wanted to just be laid back here in my room with no fancy, you know, lighting or anything like that. I'm just here at my makeup table and I'm going to attempt cream contouring for the first time.